Okay, let's talk about Pokemon Sword and Shield. And before people say, oh, Corey's gonna try and find something negative to talk about, there are some negatives in Sword and Shield. Look. Forget about the Pokedex. I'm not gonna talk about it. That's it is what it is. Nothing can be changed. The games are out. The majority of fans have played them or will play it, it before the year is out. Or some point next year. Okay? Before we get to November of next year, I guarantee you every Pokemon fan who can afford a Switch and the games will have played Sword and Shield. Even the ones who, like myself, will want the national deck back but not going to talk about that purely a review of Pokemon Sword and Shield now the games are absolutely fantastic but I wouldn't be being fair if I didn't point out that there are some small 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 issues I have small nitpicks about the game. One, GTS. Why did they take that out? I mean, what? Like, so you've crippled trading. You crippled trading. Why? Why did you cripple trading? Look, I understand the GTS, not everyone, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but a lot of people, well, including myself, really need the GTS to fill the Pokedex. Even if you're cutting it down, I still need it because there are, even though you can get uh, wild old evolution Pokemon like Macho, Machamp and stuff like that, you can get them, but like, you know, Say you wanted a Pokemon on your team, and you know it's early in the game, and you still can't, and that my champ is too strong to catch, or that Hunter is too strong to catch. But you have Ghastly or Mach Machop in your team because you call a, a weaker wild one. You can evolve that, but unless you have friends. You are shit out of luck. And it's Pokemon, stop trying to make me make friends. Fuck you. Okay? Fuck you. I will I don't want friends. I don't need friends. I'm perfectly happy as I am all by myself. So please I, I beg Pokemon to reintroduce to put the GTS back in. Whatever is next. Whether that's enhanced versions of Sword and Shield. Or it's Gen 4 remakes. Whatever it is. Put the GTS back in. Because you've crippled trading. You've made. Unless. Pokemon. Unless this wild. Unless the wild area is going to be something. That you reintroduce. Say in. Uh, in. In um. Say Gen 4 remakes are what's next, and in certain areas in Sinnoh, you can catch certain Pokemon. If that's going to be the case, then okay, but he, but explain that. Because, and explain how it works. Because, like, I don't know if I can even get those Pokemon shiny, because... I'm not going to lie, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu really ignited a love of Shiny Hunting I didn't know I had, but I really enjoyed Shiny Hunting in those games, and I enjoyed the challenge of say, that I set for myself to get the sh every Pokemon Shiny in that game, which I did. Well, every Pokemon that can be caught, I didn't with Mel Mel because I can't get uh, Pokemon let's uh, Pokemon go to work with my phone which is over there or somewhere 
It's on the bed. Yeah, it's on the bed. Um, but if GTS is gone forever, then explain how it works. Explain, can we save in front of those Pokemon? And, like, is it, are these, like, static encounters? Can I encounter that Pokemon over and over again and eventually he, boom, it's shiny? Or are those Pokemon shiny locked? How does it work? If you explain that, and if they are shiny, if they can be found shiny, then no issue. Ooh. Ooh, there is no. Then surprise trading is good enough. I won't need the GTS if that. It's the case. Yes. 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 But you need to explain it because it's kind of confusing. Hmm. 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 And I don't think I'm the only one who might be confused about that. So. I, d I don't think that's too much to ask. If you're not going to reintroduce DTS, then just explain can those Pokemon. In the wild area, the the evolved forms, the mock champs, the Gengars, can you save before you encounter them, and encounter them over and over again, soft resetting style, and eventually, boom, they're shiny. Because if that's the case, great. But if it's not the case, then yeah, GTS needs to come back, unless they take that idea. And they use it in the f in future. Be very weird if they took a, an idea from a random guy off the internet. But if they want to take that, if anyone from Nintendo randomly stumbles upon this video, have that for free. I'll sign whatever you want to say. Yeah, I give Nintendo the the uh, the all all legal rights to this idea. Because I'm, I'm not looking to make any money. I just want to know how well, things are working. Because it's still a little confusing. I know the games have only been out a couple of days. But normally at this point, people figure shit out. And I don't know if people figure that out. I should have looked that up beforehand. But we're rolling with this. Anyway, another small little net pick is the catching uh, situation. It's both good and bad. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's, but it's, I, I'm leaning towards, it's a bad thing. It is. You know, if you, you randomly encounter a Pokemon and you can't run away from it, you, you're stuck. You're stuck, and if it's super high level, you're just waiting for it to faint your team. And you're like, how the hell did I get into this situation? Because, like, you could have a situation where you're just walking along in the wild area, and a, a, a random Pokemon attacks you, you're in a battle, the Pokemon's level, whatever, or you can't catch a Pokemon that level, your team can't be a Pokemon that level, there's nothing you can do. But if you had the ability to catch that Pokemon, maybe you could get lucky and catch it. Now, obviously, catching rates and all that, it wouldn't be easy, but you know, you might get lucky. Yeah. Now, I can kind of understand why they introduced this, but I have an example of why. That doesn't make any sense. Now, in max raid battles, when you when you do the max raid battles, uh, after some, after pretty much all of them, I think you, you get certain kinds of experience. You get those experience candies. I'm sure you've heard of them or you've seen v or videos about them from our YouTubers. Whatever, you get them. You can give them to your Pokemon. After a day, I turned a team of level 30 
something Pokemon into level 80. One day of just going around doing Max Ray Pals. One day. 50 levels for 4 Pokemon. That's 50 levels each. And I'm still running into Pokemon that I can't catch, even though they are lower level than the Pokemon I have in my team. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well, why did you make your Pokemon that strong? Because I can. Because I can. And there's... So, clearly, there is something wrong there. Now, I'm not suggesting that they... You say, hey, yeah, let's just stop people from overleveling. Because, no, because then you, you kill some of the fun. Hmm. If I want to level, that's my business. Yes. It doesn't affect your game. I just beat it easily. Easier. But that's in one game. I have both. I have sword and shield. Because I pre ordered both like a fucking idiot. But I always get both. Just literally. I have shit lying all over the place. Both games of every generation. Regardless, um, you can't cap, you can't forcefully say, oh, you can't put your, at this stage in the game, you can't have Pokemon beyond this level. Then why are you not allowing us to try and catch these higher level Pokemon? Especially in a scenario like mine, where our Pokemon, where my Pokemon are stronger than the ones I'm facing, and are easily beating them. I have Pokemon are beating Pokemon they are weak against. Like I, he had a, he um, I had my star or in. Mm, Pokemon Shield, which is is uh, Sobble, but of course it's um, it's um, oh, fuck what's its evolution's name? I can't think of it on my head. Intellion? Is it something like that? Then the sniper lizard thing. Um, but yeah, I have that. It went up against a grass type. Be it in one hit. It was a one hit KO move. Cause it, I don't think it can learn any, at least it didn't try to learn any. Hmm? Voila! Beaten! Be a grass type. And it beat other types it wasn't good against, like electro types. So you, you, you see what I'm trying to say. He, he, I'm so over leveled. But I still can't catch those Pokemon, which is a little annoying. Hmm. Hmm. So, Game Freak, I know it might seem like a little, it, it seems a bit, is pay the right word? I don't think so, no. I think it's just, I don't, I don't feel like, I feel like you're taking some of the fun away from the game by having these Pokemon there but you can't catch them but I can over level to the point where I'm several levels higher than those Pokemon and can beat them easily but I can't catch them it's a little odd it's a little odd and my final nitpick and there's some small, uh, no, actually, not gonna lie that there's some, that these are small spoilers. This is a big, big spoiler. Big spoiler, because I'm talking about the Pokemon League. After you beat all eight gyms, 
whether that's in sword or shield, you will face off in a four-person tournament. You face Marnie, and Hop faces, I don't know. It never said who he faced, but he beat them. Whoever he faces, he beats them. I'm assuming they are some scrub because Hop is incompetent and a moron who can't do anything right unless his big brother is holding his hand. Or you get him out of it. A lot of the times I was like, oh my god, you were the most incompetent fool I've ever encountered in a Pokemon game. And that's saying a lot. Because there's been some incompetence and some fools that you can find in certain Pokemon games. And you just hop freaking experience. Explodes my brain. I'm like, how did you become a Pokemon master or Pokemon trainer? How did you get to this point? How did you get eight gym badges? This, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, coding. Because I, I guarantee you, if Pokemon were real and there was a trainer like, huh? He wouldn't even get past the first gym. You probably like, you know how in Bra, in 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 the first. Generation, there's a trainer in the in Brock's gym who says, "Oh, you're ten thousand light years away from challenging Brock." Okay, yeah, that would that would actually apply to Hop, because <laughs> in realistic is if if we're talking realism, he shouldn't even beat the first gym, let alone all eight and get to the final. So I have no idea who that last, who that second time was, was on that side. But clearly, they were incompetent beyond incompetence. Though, keep that in mind, there was some way worse than Hop. Which blows my mind. Anyway. I beat, in, I, I played... I finished Sword, so I'll talk about the Sword Bird. So I beat Marnie, and then I beat Hop. Then it says, oh, now you have to go into another tournament. And I was absolutely furious. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? How does that make any fucking sense? They have to bring back the Elite Four. They have to bring this. This was a cool little, little, uh, little uh, experiment, but it failed. I'm giving it a big fat fucking F because it's a failure. If you're gonna have a tournament, don't then have me win a tournament and then put me into another fucking tournament. That doesn't make any sense. Like in the Pokemon anime, Ash recently won. The Alolo League. Would it make any sense if after he won the Alolo League, he, for Professor Kui, he got on the mic and says, Well, Don Ash, now you go into another tournament. And, and here you go again. At that point, I would be Ash should be been like, if that had happened, Ash would have every right to go, Um, no, because I won. I won. I actually won. Hmm? Hmm? That wouldn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. And especially going up... Spoiler, it's just you and the gym leaders. And I think you're in place of... Um, Opal? Well, then you beat them. You have to face B again. Hmm? Hmm? And you beat her. And then you think you're going to face Leon. And nope. Nope, cause, well, the legendary stuff has to happen, and you have to face uh, the dragon poison thing. What? I can't remember its name. And I'm like, really, really? I just, wait. And I was like, normally, the the legendary stuff happens before you get to the eighth gym, but uh, I finished the seventh gym. 
And when it didn't occur, it just said, oh, you can go to the gym now. And I was like, really? Okay. That's a little, a little odd. So, just gonna go to the 8th gym. Go to the 8th gym. Beat the 8th gym. Sort it. And I'm like, huh, well, that was, that was odd. What happened to, um, um, am I gonna face the legendaries or, or the evil, um, the evil people? No, no, no. No, uh, okay, apparently I'm going to the Pokemon League. And then you have to go through all of that. Eventually, you'll get your match with Leon. And you have to go through that as well. And that is so much... Oh, I'm like, I, I, I understand. People wanted, you know, more of a challenge in Pokemon. But I'm like... That's not a challenge. That's not a challenge. You're just asking me to beat the same people again. A challenge would be putting me in a big tournament against characters I have never encountered before. Random NPCs these with incredible teams who are really tough to beat. That would be a challenge. Not the same people I've beaten throughout my journey. That makes no sense. I'm facing off against the gym leaders, and I'm like, why am I facing you? I've already beaten you. You're a loser. You're a loser with a big fat L. You've already lost to me. And here you are again, and I have to beat you again. This doesn't make any sense. How does this work? And what happens if I lose? Do I technically lose my match with Leon? What What have, what have happened? It's, it is so, it is so, it's so annoying, and I just, I, I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. And it shouldn't be in it. If you're going to have a tournament, just have a tournament. Don't split into t unnecessarily into two tournaments. So where I think I've won, oh, now you have to go through another tournament. And this one's slightly longer. And you have to face the gym leaders again. And though you've already beaten them, you have the badges to prove that you beat them. It's so annoying. That doesn't make any sense. No one can tell me that makes any fucking sense. No. But all in all, despite my minor nitpicks with the GTS, my minor nitpicks is with the Pokemon League and other stuff, all in all, Pokemon Sword and Shield are both really good, enjoyable games. The introduction, another small nitpick, um, yeah, I wanted to kill myself because I just, it felt like it was longer than Sun and Moon. Wasn't the whole point now, I, I, I thought, I thought Game Freak would, would make it shorter I think they made a longer one. I think they honestly made a longer one. If you think it all, like, and, and every two seconds you're being stopped, and I'm like, oh my god, just let me get on with my journey. Why couldn't you have talked to me about this when the last time you saw me, you, you idiot? The biggest offender of that was someone like Sonia, who's who's around, who seemingly was around every corner. I'm like, okay, bye Sonia. And then five minutes later, oh, hello Sonia again. Oh, and here you go again. Ugh. Wake me up when you stop fucking talking. Hmm. 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 Oh, it's really annoying. Just and maybe these nitpicks seem minor, but they really, really irritated me. They really did. <sighs> but otherwise, I actually enjoyed the games. I did. 
despite the minor stuff. But I selfishly, I want those changes or in the case of GTS, if you're like I said, you don't have to bring it back if you explain that yeah, you can say before those Pokemon you encounter those Pokemon and you can solve yourself for a shiny. You tell me that, I'm good. GTS it was it was nice while we uh, lasted. Um, goodbye and go. You can now go back to being a professional wrestling move. <laughs> non wrestling fans won't have a freaking clue what I'm talking about. But shout out to my pro fellow pro wrestling fans who know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Jesus Christ, I've rambled on and on for almost half an hour. But yeah, so, other than those small nitpicks, Pokemon Sword and Shield, fun games, but they can be improved. And maybe I'm being selfish, but all I want is just the Meyer stuff. If you're gonna keep, G if GTS is gone forever, I'm okay with that, just the stuff about the shiny. That's all I need to know. E. E. That's that's it. You if you're not gonna bring it back, Game Freak, just explain. Just explain. Or may or maybe someone in the comments will explain. Anyway. That's that. Bye.